Okay, now we're in Go Guardian. Um, the, you can get here on Clever. So just go to Clever, click on Go Guardian. Um, it'll take you to this site here. Just go to goguardian.com and you can log in with your Google. Um, first thing we want to take a look at is to add a classroom. These are my classrooms I already legitimately have. But if you want to add another one, you click the Add Classroom. We're going to call this Sandbox, of course. And then uh, it, or anything else, Add Classroom. So now I have a Sandbox classroom. I have uh, a couple of options of how to add students. I can have the students enroll in the class by filling out a link, so I can use a code there. I can add individual emails to build my class, or I can upload a CSV with student email addresses. Um, typically what I do, just because for me it's one step less, it's a little faster, is I just add the emails. So I just kind of copy them out of PowerSchool and type them in, in here. But for a lot of you, you could actually run a CSV and that will technically be a little faster. We do cover how to turn those CSVs into email lists in a different tech minute that I'll try to go ahead and link um, along with the email that came up for today. So that is how we're going to just create a class. Um, along with that, on your classrooms page, you have the option, whether you're in a class or just kind of sitting, you can check if a website is blocked. So let's say you want to know if students can go to eBay. And check the website, and it'll tell you right here. Website is blocked in certain scenes that I have. Um, will be blocked for students who are out of school per admin policy. And then within a class, if you're actually doing that, let's go to my period three. You can actually, when you try to share a link with students, uh, you click that same option where it'll tell you if a, if a website is blocked before you try to actually force it out to students. In your settings, you can have just the default scene, no scene applied right here. Um, or you can, sorry. Um, in your settings, you can have your default scene applied. So there's no scene applied on this. Uh, you can edit your class and add a co-teacher that is in your settings for your classroom. So settings right here. Uh, go ahead and add co-teachers here. You can set a default scene of what you want them to actually be using on a given day right here. Add students, archive the class, delete the class. Um, and so those are all useful tools to kind of update your stuff. And then when you're viewing your classroom, back to this one that I just opened for fun, you can go ahead and exclude a student. So like Stephanie's not connected right now, we're going to go ahead and just exclude her. So then she'll be excluded from this session, but she will come back the next time I open this particular class. The other thing you can do on that is to go ahead and move a student into a specific area so that maybe just they have a scene applied to them. So I'll apply a scene on him. I'm not actually going to do just regular class time. Don't want to mess up the class that he's in. And then it moves him up here. He's in group A. All of these guys have the regular class time at the bottom. They all just have no scene applied. Hopefully that all made sense. Um, as always, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, and for the good of the cause, reach out to us on the tech team. That's part one on classrooms. Part two is going to be looking at what those scenes actually are and how to create them.